Hi everyone. Okay, so it looks like we are live. I'm gonna wait a moment to make sure that the notification goes out and that we can talk about this product spotlight that I'm excited to bring to you. I've actually been requested this one often. Um, and so I'm gonna jump right in. And all these little clips sticking out. Um, okay, Sensi Premium Diffusers, okay? They range from $120 to $150, depending on which one you are getting. And what I wanna share with you is the reason that they are costly. Um, I want to share some tips and tricks about them, how to use them, um, and answer any questions that you all might have in regards to our Sensi Premium Diffuser. We do have a deluxe diffuser, we have wall diffusers, we have a bunch of different other ones, but this specific product spotlight is about our um, premium diffusers, okay? I do have one here, so I'm gonna share that with you. Um, first and foremost, our premium diffusers are a ultrasonic nebulizing diffuser. What does that mean? It means one, that it's cool, it's not heated. Um, two, it's a vibrating disc that causes the misting to happen. So I'm gonna read how um, it explains it. It says it's essentially a small ceramic disc in the water reservoir called a nebulizer. It vibrates at high frequencies to break the water and oil down into fine microscopic particles that are dispersed into the air, okay? So it is based on a cool, um, mist that comes out of the um, diffuser. Does it get hot? No, it's a cold mist technology. Um, the oils that we use, you can use pretty much any essential oil or natural oil in our diffusers. We do sell them um, and that could potentially be another product spotlight. We do have natural uh, oils and oil blends and essential oils that we offer as well. I'm gonna be using one in the demonstration today. Um, you can use other oils. Just understand that, and like with anything that we make, um, as it would be with anybody else's products as well, um, our Sensi oils are specifically formulated for an optimal fragrance experience. Using our company's oils will not harm the Sensi, other companies. Uh, oils will not harm the diffuser or void void the warranty. Okay, um, so our our oils are tested with our units, and so we know that they work really well. Um, Sensi diffusers should you use distilled water? Sensi diffusers um, are pretty advanced diffusers on the market. Uh, you do not need to use distilled water. We recommend using clean, cool tap water. However, customers with hard water or customers who live in areas with high mineral concentration in the water would probably wanna to choose to use distilled water, but you don't have to, okay? Um, what you'll see, in is, even in mine you're gonna see that, is that there are, uh, it'll stain, like we have a lot of magnesium in our water, so it stains green. Um, if you have a lot of iron, you'll see some staining that's orangey red. Um, and that's when you know that there's a lot of minerals in your water and that you might want to consider using distilled water. But again, you still don't have to. Okay. Um, we do have a lifetime limited warranty on our diffuser. So if the mechanics of the warmer stop working, then you're going to message me and we're going to get something replaced, whether it's the unit um, or, and keep in mind that it is a limited warranty. We'll ex we will exchange it for life, but there's going to be limits um, on how we exchange it. There could be a restocking price, but you're never gonna pay the full price to have it exchanged, okay? Um, there is a 30-day full exchange, so just keep that in mind, but this is lifetime, lifetime warranties. Um, what else? It holds up to uh, about 120 milliliters and they recommend using four to five drops of oil. And I'm gonna show you that 
right now. So here is the Reflect Diffuser. It's gorgeous, right? It's dirty. It's mine. And you can see me on there. <laughs> um, this lampshade, here's where your pricing is coming in, okay? The lampshade is, this particular one is glass, okay? This is glass. Look how thick the glass is. And then it has the reflective coating on the inside of it to give it that reflective coating on the outside, okay? Um, it's hard to not have the reflection of the camera on there, but that's okay. So again, glass blown. This is high quality, very decorative. And when we light it up, you're going to see what happens with that reflective coating that gets put on the inside. There are others that are made differently. Um, we have, this is the reflect right here. Okay. Um, we also have Enchant and Awaken and Shine and Stargaze, Enrich and Renew. So these are the different ones that we have available. Those are all the shades um, and how they look. They are, these particular ones are all glass, if not ceramic. Let me see me peeking. I'm trying to see what's on here. Okay. So those are the different diffuser shades that we have. The beauty in this is that regardless which shade you get, because of some of the components that our diffusers have, you have the ability to have different looks because there's going to be different colors that are shined, shined through, shown through. Um, so with that said, let's go back to where we started and look at the reservoir. So every diffuser, every premium diffuser is going to come with this base unit. The base unit is, this is PVC plastic. Okay. It looks like a cone. This is a tip that I'm going to teach you when you take the cone off, if you plug the bottom and fill the water up until this point right here, it will be the exact amount that you need to fill your reservoir. So you're going to fill the water and then you're going to empty the water into this reservoir. And this is the reservoir. Okay. So this is where the water goes. This is that nebulizing ceramic disc at the bottom in the middle there. Okay, that's what vibrates and creates the mist. And then here, right up at the top, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, there is a line right here. This is where you're going to fill your water till. Okay, it's almost, it's the same um, level as this lip right here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So you're going to put water in there, and then you're going to put about four or five drops of our oil or any oil. This happens to be lemon. Um, and you're going to, when you open it, most oils are like this. There's air holes in there. And so you're going to want to find the level where it starts to pour out a lot easier for you. Um, and then pour it into the reservoir itself. Okay. Um, and again, you can use your judgment. If you want more, you can use more for a stronger scent. If you want less, then you can use less for a less strong scent. Um, there are feet on the bottom, rubber feet on the bottom, so that it does not slide on your surface. And also helps with the cord so that the cord is not um, making it uneven. Okay. So you'll be able to have a flush sitting on the on the table or the counter wherever you put it all right so the water's in there the oil is in there you put the cover back on and the base is ready to go and put the lampshade back on there are some rubber gaskets right here these are rubber gaskets there's two there's one on the bottom and there's one here this helps to keep your lampshade snug and in place there's some give but it helps to keep it so that uh, the lampshade stays on better. Okay. All right. So now we're going to just turn it on. Now there are two settings. You're going to see two buttons. One has uh, a droplet on it and one has a light on it. So the one that has a light on it is for your light. The one that has the droplet on it is for the misting. Now I don't have any water in here, so it's not going to mist. But if I just held this button down and turned it on, the unit itself would turn on and the mist would come out immediately. The other one is for your light, and there are some multiple settings for this. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to press it and hold it. And there, 
See how beautiful this is? So now there are 16 colors that it's going to rotate through. And it's just going to slowly give this nice ambiance of um, relaxation and um, ambient lighting. Okay. So as I talk, I'll let it go ahead and channel through all of the different colors. You also have the ability to select a color. So if you just press on the button, you can choose a color and have it stay on that particular color. Okay. Now, if I turn this off by holding it down again and tap it real quick, okay, this gives me what's called a high white light. Okay. Seems like it's flickering a little bit on the camera, but it really isn't. Okay. If I press it again quickly, I get a low white light. This third one, however, is candle flicker. And so what you'll notice is it kind of has this candle effect, this candle flicker effect um, to make it a little bit more ambient. So it's just really dependent on your mood. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and then turn it back on with a long press to get the colors to rotate again while we're talking. Okay. Um, can you purchase these shades separately? Yes. Once you have purchased the full unit that comes with the base, then you can purchase the shades separately and interchange them however you feel. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing. So the glass, the shades are either porcelain, I said ceramic, but they're either porcelain or hand blown glass. Okay. Um, so that's important to know. And that's a lot where the cost is. These are pretty high end diffusers and they're gorgeous and look how big i mean this is a pretty good size it's the size of my head right um let's see oh the settings for the water basically are four hours on a steady stream so if you keep it on high and it's just misting constantly, it'll last about four hours. You can also put it on an intermittent set setting, which is low, which means that every, um, it'll last eight hours. So it shuts off, turns back on, shuts off, turns back on. So it will last about eight hours doing that. Um, so you have the settings to allow for different um, needs in your home. Um, also, when the water reservoir runs out, it automatically shuts off. The light will stay on because they're two separate units, right? But the water part, the nebulizing part, will shut off automatically. So that's kind of neat. So when the water runs out, the unit shuts off. Um, again, the light will stay on though for your ambient lighting. Um, let's see, it will turn on immediately as soon as you press the, um, liquid button. There's the bulb button and the liquid button. Um, what else can I tell you about these guys? Do you have any questions at all? I'm not seeing any comments. So, um, four to eight hours, you can get this at half price. So if you host a party that has $500 in sales, you can get this for half the price. Okay. So that's a really good deal and something to think about. So if it's something that you want, you don't want to pay full price for it, then let's host a party, get you to 500 in sales and you can get this at half price. So that's a really, really, really good deal. Um, I think that's it. You know, this is not a humidifier, so it's not necessarily going to um, humidify your room per se. I mean, it will add humidity because there is moisture coming out of it, but it's not made to be a humidifier per se. Okay. Um, I think that's all I got. Um, the timer options, intermittent mode emits mist on high setting for 30 seconds, turns off for 30 seconds and repeats. That's the one that will give you eight hours worth of um, scent. If you get it on high, it's just a constant stream for four hours. All right, I think that's all you guys. If you have any questions, um, 
please oh an easy way to clean it let me show you that okay that's probably gonna blow out let me shut this off okay i take a q-tip and just rub that ceramic disc and that will get rid of the excess oil that sits there or any of the minerals from your water that will get there so see how there's kind of this green tint to it that's because I've got magnesium in my water. So it gives it gives it this green greenish kind of tint, greenish blue kind of tint. Um, so every now and then I'll take a Q-tip and I'll just kind of rub in there to clean it out. Um, and that's kind of really all you need to do to clean it. Okay. I think that we um, are all set. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for joining me today and we will see you next Monday for another product spotlight. Bye everyone.